Another grim prediction about swine flu. It turns out the pandemic could pose a threat to Britain's economic as well as physical health. Experts now believe that in the worst case scenario, half the population could come down with the virus. And if that happens, sick leave will cost businesses dear. Add to that a reluctance to travel and to socialise because of warnings about the infection spreading. And economists say the UK's finances could contract by a whopping 7.5% this year, making a recovery from the recession in in 2010 more unlikely. For now, though, the main worry is the actual physical threat posed by this virus. The weekend's headlines were dominated by the debate about swine flu and pregnancy. The government's advised pregnant women against unnecessary travel and hanging out in crowded places, but pregnancy specialist Dr Boon Lim says there's no need for mums-to-be to change their lives dramatically because of this. We're, we're advising pregnant women not to change their lifestyle, uh, so if they have to travel, then they should. Uh, but to take sensible precautions, as has always been the case, and that is to wash their hands frequently and to, if they sneeze, to cover their nose and mouth with t- a tissue paper and throw it away. In most cases, swine flu is mild. A few days off work and a dose of Tamiflu tends to sort it out. But pregnant women are more susceptible to infections and vaccinations aren't usually recommended in pregnancy. Still, the government insists there's no need to panic and there is treatment out there. A batch of vaccines against swine flu is on its way to the UK now. When it arrives, the Department of Health will have to start making difficult decisions about whom should be inoculated first.